Hi guys, Mr. P here. Someone on Facebook recommended another book that features our hero, Mrs. May. So I thought I'd have a little look at it. Right, here we go. Mrs. May was ill. The children had a new teacher who was called Miss... Wait a second. Mrs. May was ill. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping And the vision She's gone, She's gone. Oh, I, oh I I better learn how to face it I think I can do this How am I, how's this school supposed to survive without the renegade? How am I supposed, how am I supposed to get through this without her? Right then, Mr. Fry, let's see how incompetent you are compared to our hero. It was story time. The children sat in the reading corner. Mm. And I don't think they look very engaged to me. I mean, look at this one saying, I don't read like Mrs. May. Mr. Fry had a new story. The story was about a king. He was called King Arthur. Well, yeah, and that's not on the curriculum, is it? I mean, it might be, but it's not on Mrs. May's curriculum. Here is King Arthur, said Mr. Fry, and here is Knights. They lived a long time. He don't even know, does he? Take an estimate like that. Mrs. May would know. King Arthur had a round table. All the Knights sat round it. They liked the round table. Well, isn't he just a master storyteller? The children did a project. The boys were Knights. It's not fair, said Biff. Biff wanted to be a Knight. It's not fair, she said. Why can't girls be Knights? I'll tell you why. Mrs. May wouldn't stand for that. She's not up for this stereotyping, Mr. Fry. I don't even think I can read on. I mean, what happens? Oh, we get the magic key stuff. And she where she uses imagination, but you know, being creative and all of that isn't what the government wants. So I think we'll just leave it there. Let's hope Mrs. May comes back. Yeah, I understand that. It's not fair. It's not fair when she's off ill. Got to hope she's just picked up a bug from one of the other kids. Hate to think it'd be something more serious, possibly even being stressed with the workload crisis that's going on. Hashtag pray for Mrs. May.